Hi, it's Patrick with E38. In this video, we're going to compare the range of NLIDs Reach RS3 LoRa and UHF radios in relatively flat and unobstructed farmland roads. For these tests, I had my RS3 mounted to the top of my car, traveling at about 25 miles per hour while the age of corrections were monitored in Field Genius for Android until corrections were lost entirely. As you can see in the example with the receiver operating autonomously, we would then track back until we could reacquire corrections and shoot a fixed shot. On day one, our base wasn't set in an ideal spot elevation-wise. As you can see in the elevation cross-section, we pulled from Google Earth. Even so, with that minor of a difference, we could stretch our range for a few miles, with the 450 MHz band allowing us to go an additional 21% of the distance of the 902 MHz LoRa band. We wanted to adjust our base to see if we could stretch our range even further, so on day two we set up on the higher elevation side, however the thick fog and heavier rain created a much different environment for our radios. These conditions cut the range of our UHF band by just over 44%, and it cut our lower range by about 65%. These differences together upped the advantage of the UHF band to more than double the range of the lower band. This test, just as our test in the wooded area, had our external UHF radio running at the low setting, which is 5 watts, with the capability of boosting that up to 30 watts, versus the 0.1 watt of the lower radio. This has been Patrick with E38 Survey Solutions. Thanks for watching.